it's a hard thing to admit, but it's understandable why they would choose to go their own way. And that's what's scary is there's actually a rational reason why they would do that. Men going their own way. And you can think what you want about it, but this is a really big problem for women, for us, for our future, for families, for you to find a partner. If a population of good men are walking away because they're fed up with women. If you're being told all your life that you are bad yeah. and wrong just for being a man, and that you have toxic masculinity for being a man, and that, you know, women, there's this famous expression that, you know, uh, a woman needs a man just like a fish needs a bicycle. And that men are basically useless. Oh, and that men are terrible and that, you know, women are superior. And our society is very callous towards men. The only message most men hear in the world is that they're a bumbling buffoon. The TV shows are full of idiot men. Commercials show men as buffoons. The society is against them. All they hear about is what idiots men are. It's the, it's the mass of women that are taking over the culture and representing women. They're loud, they're mean, they say they want equality. Why are they not protesting in the streets for the uh, changing the laws for alimony or child support or uh, child custody? Because they don't want equality. They want superiority. The male gender has more of a slave state and it's because men are now subjugated to the law and to women, and nobody really believes it, except the, the men who go through, say, the court, but most men think that they're exempt from that until they end up in a bad situation. So for a lot of the men, it's, and a lot of them have gotten screwed over in terrible re relationships and divorces and gotten their kids taken away from them, so it's an understandable response. In the United States of America, as a man, you can't speak up. I think most women tend to be very, I'm stereotyping, but they tend to be more collectivist. They tend to uh, sort of be more in that socialist mindset. So I don't know that you're gonna see a huge change. I think the change will have to come from men. The lives of women will not change until the men get the opportunity to also examine and define and change their lives. In many ways, I sometimes think that the 20th century was the century where the women made all these massive changes and the 21st century will be the changes of that the men will make partly in adaptation to the changes that the women have done. And there, those men are doing something about it. They're saying, you know what, I'm done with this. I'm not getting married or I'm divorced. I'm not going to, they don't sit around uh, just trying to live their life through women. They actually have lots of hobbies. They go out, they buy that land you were talking about. They're out there getting motors. Like they're having a good time and they're right. enjoying life without having to deal with the stress of the women and the society that tells them they have to have a woman in their life. How would you feel? I mean, you know, you're not going to feel that attracted to a woman or or care to be loving towards her or romantic towards her. So this men going their own way is a reaction to that. I really think it's a rational reaction to that. Men are finally like, hey, we've given you all you want. You know, you, ha you are equal in every way. And then you're still shaming us.